What up, though, y'all? Your boy V, checking in with you in your ear radio. This is the Real Raw podcast, though. And uh, it's going to be uh, on In Your Vision. And, uh, um, you know, every now and then I like to drop these jewels because it's, it's so many people that be, uh, like artists especially, that, that miss out on certain things because of just uh, the lack of not knowing, you know. And, and <clears throat> I, I don't like to, uh, like, assume people know things so with that being said i want to touch on a few things here and there on this real raw podcast uh that uh maybe a lot of others don't touch on or or just share some general knowledge on shit but from a real perspective uh today today what what sparked me was i was on the radio station and i'm doing uh my new music mondays that I do uh, every Monday, and generally all day, basically, uh, in and out between the shows of uh, the different DJs, uh, I play all new music, and it can vary from, like, on a national level, world level, or even, uh, like, real local in Detroit, uh, Highland Park, you know, I love to play my HP artists for sure, and, um, and all of my 313 artists... Uh, and the thing is, when I get this music from from when they send me their music, and this is so much like it's not just our local artists, but because I got peoples all over the country uh, that I you know independent uh, artists that I deal with, and you know we've been uh, I've been helping promote their music for for years and years, and um, even them at times forget to do this one little thing. <laughs> Title your tracks properly. It might sound like something real simple, but it is like a plague amongst artists that don't properly um, fill out the information within their digital file. Yeah, you got to get in there and, and write inside the properties of the file in order to um, put that metadata in there. And that metadata consists of, of like your album cover artwork. You want to put in the title of the uh, track, your name. Like, if I got to tell y'all, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Like, uh, how many artists will send DJs, not just me. You're sending DJs. Uh, your your uh, art piece, and it doesn't even have your name on it. Like, what if a, you know, uh, Van Gogh had painted these great paintings, but never put Van Gogh on it? We wouldn't know who did it, right? So imagine, I play your music on the radio worldwide, and the people that tune in and they listen, they have digital displays. Like it might be in a car. Or whatever, and that metadata is what it reads. So, your information that you embed inside that digital file is crucial because that's what's gonna come across the screen. And I can't tell you how many tracks that I have in my system that are called unknown. Like when it comes up on the uh uh. uh the information comes up, it just says unknown, or, or it'll just have the title to the track. Now this is this is the problem across the board, even in the digital aspect. But now, as a DJ, I'm at a party. You gonna you've already gave me your music to play, and I love your music. I want to play your music at this gig. I want to drop this mother this motherfucker like on this crowd. I got a packed house. I said, oh, oh, so-and-so gave me this dope-ass track. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember it because he just gave it to me. Okay, so let me, let, I'm going to put his name in. Pop, 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 pop. Nothing. Nothing. Now I got to figure out what the, either what the name of it was. I got to go through something extreme that I'm not going to go through at this live ass party that I'm trying to drop your track at. See what I'm saying? So to the DJs, 
they may really want to play your record, but it's lost in their hard drive. We have tens of thousands and thousands and thousands of songs loaded into our hard drive, and you depend on that search to pull it up like that because that's how fast. It's like back in the day, we used to have to, in between records, we used to have to flip through crates. Boy, it was an art to flipping through crates and, 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 and knowing where your, shit, where your records was and shit. So it's the same way with the DJs now. It's, it's almost even worse sometimes. I'm DJ Hot Mess forever. And, and I ain't gonna lie, my crates and, uh, on, on a, uh, a mixed program, a Serato or whatever, it's, it's just as messy as my real crates with records. I, I can't even front. But I, I, I don't know how I do it. I just do it. It just comes together. It's, it's something in the moons and the stars that I don't control. But that's a whole other story. You artists that's not familiar with this process, all you have to do is when you have your your file, it could be on your phone too, you, you can, or on your computer, you right-click <clears throat> on the file and, and open up the properties. And when you open up the properties, you will see all these categories. Go to, go to details, all that or whatever. I, I actually could bring uh, some um, examples up on here, which I may do on another broadcast. But this is something that you, sh you should be able to do. You right-click on your file, you go to the details, and you fill it out, and then you save it. That's really as simple as it is, and at least have – your name on there with the title of the track. It's best you put your album in there and all that type of whatever information you else you can fill fill in there and, and add your cover art into it because that's dope. For uh, when people put or play that song on, on whatever device they're using and all your info com information comes up right there blah, with the album cover, whatever, tr trust me, it's going to encourage them to go look for your music and go search for it and um, stream it and download it and all of that. But if they don't know who you are, at least, then guess what? They just going to be like, that was dope. I wish I knew who it was or whatever. And maybe they'll, maybe they'll Shazam it or something. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they won't. You feel me? So, you know, with that being said, um, stay tuned, and uh, I actually do another video where I bring up uh, some examples of this and, and show it to you, but as I'm working through this uh, software and whatnot, um, I'm learning, so it's, uh, it's all going to come together, but stay tuned. We're in your ear, radio.com, so you go to the link, it's right there on the, on the header of, a, a, of the YouTube um, you'll see in your ear radio in the bottom uh, right hand corner it's actually a link you just click that mug and while you at it uh, subscribe to the YouTube and uh, show some love and I'll see you on the next one it's the one peace